Hello there. Good morning. I am in my backyard garden. I'm reading from the Bible. Today I'm reading from the book of Proverbs and I will read Proverbs chapter 2. In Proverbs chapter 2 it talks about the value of wisdom. Before I get started, I want to talk a little bit about what you're looking at in the video. Um, I am showing you the yellow daffodil growth. Um, all of the green that you see that looks like either chives or it looks like grasses. Um, this growth will have hundreds and hundreds of little yellow daffodils on it when it finally blooms. So I wanted to show it to you now and then I will do another video once the blooms come out so you can see how beautiful they are. They don't last very long but the yellow, the burst of yellow after the winter of um, brown and green, um, they're beautiful. Okay back to Bible reading. Today I'm reading from the book of Proverbs chapter 2. It's about the value of wisdom. The reading begins. My child, if you accept my words and treasure up my commandments within you, making your ear attentive to wisdom and inclining your heart to understanding, if you indeed cry out for insight, and raise your voice for understanding. If you seek it like silver and search for it as for hidden treasures, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. He stores up sound wisdom for the upright he is a shield to those who walk blamelessly, guarding the paths of justice and preserving the way of his faithful ones. Then you will understand righteousness and justice and equity, every good path, for wisdom will come into your heart and knowledge will be pleasant to your soul. Prudence will watch over you and understanding will guard you. It will save you from the way of evil, from those who speak perversely, who forsake the paths of uprightness to walk in the ways of darkness, who rejoice in doing evil and delight in the perverseness of evil. Those whose paths are crooked and who are devious in their ways. You will be saved from the loose women, from the adulteress with her smooth words, who forsakes the partner of her youth and forgets her sacred covenant. For her way leads down to death and her paths to the shades. Those who go to her never come back, nor do they regain the paths of life. Therefore, walk in the way of the good and keep to the paths of the just. For the upright will abide in the land and the innocent will remain in it. But the wicked will be cut off from the land and the treacherous will be rooted out of it. This ends the reading of Proverbs chapter two.